Joining us now to discuss today's news is Sherry Greenberg, professor of practice at the LBJ School of Public Affairs right here at UT Austin. And she was also a state representative from 1991 to 2001. Sherry, thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to us this afternoon. Go. Hi, how are you? Pleasure to be with you. Well, Sherry, this happened at the end of the regular session, the Democrats up and leaving. Do you think they can accomplish what they hope to accomplish by doing this again? Well, I think what they're hoping to accomplish is getting some leverage on this legislation. It is true that the governor can call an additional special session, and in fact, only the governor can call special sessions. They last 30 days, and the governor could call another 30-day special session. But the, the Democrats saw when they broke quorum at the end of the regular session that they had some success in getting a couple of provisions, the souls to the polls and the uh, evidentiary standard out of the bill. And I think what they're hoping to achieve now, one of the things is negotiating power and leverage regarding this bill. Sherry, will they stay away the entire rest of this special session? And if so, is, is that what they're trying to do? They're trying to get more of what they want in these bills? Well, yes, I think that they are trying to negotiate regarding uh, the voting legislation and get uh, provisions that they don't want in there taken out. As far as how long they will stay away, um, you know, there are some implications for them. Some of them have jobs, but of course, a lot of the world is still working remotely. And we can look back to 2003 when the Democrats in the House broke a quorum over redistricting and went to Oklahoma to the Arbuckles across the line in Oklahoma. And in fact, the Republicans um, in the Senate went to New Mexico. And in both those cases, they were gone for quite a while. Now, Sherry, does this move hurt their chances of a compromise when it comes to an election reform bill or were those chances pretty much already gone? As far as hurting their chance on a compromise, I think what we saw was they looked at the hearing, they looked at what came out and they said, we don't have anything to lose. We're not getting a compromise. And so we're going to use the tools that we have at our disposal to try and get some leverage and get a compromise. Final question for you, and again, thanks for joining us today. Uh, these Democrats pushing for Congress now to pass a pair of voting rights bills. How would those affect the governor's push to change voting rules in Texas? Were they to fa uh, pass at the uh, federal level? Well, if they were to pass at the federal level, then that would supersede anything that happens at the state level, whether it's in Texas or Georgia or Pennsylvania or other states. And that is why there is this big push to see legislation at the federal level. Sherry Greenberg with UT's LBJ School of Public Affairs. Thank you so much for your expertise and for joining us here on KV this afternoon.